Hey guys, this is KJ48, and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. This is Season 2, we're on Episode 7, and I have got to get, get be getting to work on my base, um, my underwater base. I've been uh, looking for a good spot to build it in, and uh, with not much success, but we're going to go down now and see if we can find a spot to build it in. Let's see. Does pressing C just make me go down? Yes, it does. <laughs> whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Oh my god, mushrooms. Almost crashing into mushrooms. Okay, let's see. Let's look around here. Um. All right. I don't want. I don't know how much I can maneuver down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just hop in my seamoth and see what I can see. Okay. Let's see what we got down here. Whoa. Mushrooms. Man, are we hitting stuff or what? Probably. I want to just look straight down. I thought when I last recorded, I was over a spot that I wanted to build, but maybe I'm getting confused because I do play this on. Uh, I do play this game on um, <clears throat> on stream as well, and I might have gotten my like saved games mixed up in my brain. Uh, it's very possible. It happens a lot. Um, so we will just look around. I think this looks like a good spot. It might be a little deep for a base. But, uh, let me take a look. Looks pretty interesting. I'm not sure how deep you want to make your base, to be honest. So let me look around. I didn't want to go 175 meters, that's for sure. And that's a big ass freaking mushroom tree, whatever whatever it is. Let's see if we can look around a little bit. A lot of mushrooms here, man, in the way. Gotta be careful which way we go as well, because we don't want to go near our big ship or we will start getting radiation. And that would be a very bad thing. I'm not really seeing any good spots. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any great spots here. Hmm, this spot might not be too bad over here. Tell you what, this is uh, this is pretty boring. I'm gonna search for this off video. I will come back once I find a good spot to build my base. Okay, I've not found a place to build my base yet, but um, I gotta kind of put that on hold now because um, the the Cyclops is running low on power, uh, so I need to uh, get some uh, mushrooms and quartz, and I need to. Uh, I need to make some ba some battery backups, basically. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. Um, I wanted to make my base, like, way out there and kind of, like, 100 meters deep and really, like, in an awesome place. But, I don't know, I'm kind of having a hard time finding a place for it. But, uh, well, I'll work on it. I do need some battery backups, though. My, my uh, the Cyclops is on 66% power, and um, that's a real problem. So, first things first, we do need some batteries. And the visibility in this game seems to get really bad. I like, can't see much of anything. Alright. We should be able to see the, the floor at some point soon. We need acid mushrooms. We need copper. We need quartz. Um, I think that's all I can think of right now. So. We shall see. All right. Okay. First things first. Let's uh. Where's my base? There it is. Yeah, here we are. First things first. Let's get some of these bad boys. As many as we can get, because another thing we're gonna do with these is we are going to eat them.
There we go. And let's grab some more. I don't know if these things grow back or not, but I've watched a lot of people playing this game, and they all seem to eat these, uh, these mushrooms. Uh, there is a lot of them, so... I guess it's fine. We should look for some quartz now. Save some room for quartz. Yeah, that's plenty of mushrooms. Alright, quartz, where are you? Always have a hard time finding. Well, not always. Sometimes I have a hard time finding quartz. Scrap iron. We're gonna need scrap iron, but honestly, we can't. We can't justify the inventory space right now. It's um, it's not really a priority. All right, give me some quartz. There's some more. Any quartz in here? Yes, but is there any of those crash things? Yes, there are. Let's get out of here. Um, I've been told that quartz is in cave systems, but so are those crash plants that, like, they will mess you up. So you, you don't really want to mess around them too much. But it's like a risk-reward thing, you know? Probably hit some more of these rocks. What do I get? Titanium. Okay. Copper. That's what I need. I need more copper. I don't know if there's any reason to go down below. Like, really deep, you know? Like, um, I want to go live there, but I'm kind of like, why? There's nothing down there I really care that much about. Um, it's kind of a problem, but... We'll see. I'll probably live. I'm not sure where I'm going to live yet. Alright, Quartz. Where the heck are you? I wonder if there's any Quartz down here. I don't ever remember finding Quartz down here, but... I don't really see any. Gotta watch out for the stalkers. There's some quartz. And a fragment. Ooh, lots of quartz. Well, not lots, but two. What's that? Sea moth fragment? I don't care about sea moth fragment. What the hell is that thing? What are you, buddy? Are you gonna hurt me? You don't look like you're gonna hurt me. You look pretty interesting. Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let us head back to our sub and we'll check for some quartz on the way there. We now have enough to make a few, uh... I think we have enough to make a few, uh, battery thingies. They're not called batteries, they're called, um, like, charge things. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna leave this. Nah, I should probably grab some salt. Never leave salt behind. We got some more quartz, too, so. Win-win. How much room do I have left? Oh, I got some, I got some room left. Okay, get some more salt. Lots of salt. I love getting lots of salt. Salt, getting a lot of salt makes me feel better, that's for darn sure. Okay, it's getting dark. Maybe we should really head back to the sub. I can't tell which, which one's which. I don't think that's the sub. Because I think the sub's lower. No, no, I brought the sub up to... Depth, didn't I? No, I can't tell. I don't think that's... Yeah, that's the sub. Let's get back to the sub, make some battery charge thingies. Some... I forget what they're called. Power charge, I think is what they're called. What 
What is that? Is that part of my ship I can see already? I think it is. I can see, like, the cockpit before the rest of the ship. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Ooh, this would be a nice place to build. Yes. Yes, this is where I want to build. I like it. I have no way of keeping tabs on where it is, though. Um, it looks like it's a little bit to the left of the ship. Yeah, it's to the left of the ship. Okay, so we just turned the ship left about 45 degrees, and it should take us right there. It's a nice spot. It's a nice spot to build. I like building on the side of cliffs, just because, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Oops. I am forever hitting the wrong button. Come on, pick me up. Oh, I was wondering if it, what it would do if you, like, were looking the wrong way. Alright, 60. Oh, look at this. We got a hull breach. Um, basically, if you go below, uh, if you go below 100 meters and you hit something, you'll have a hull breach. And that's what this is. And I should be able to just... Oh, no, I don't fix it with a builder. I fix it with a welder, which is number two. There we go. Um... I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fix it. Oh. There we go. I still had the builder out. For some reason, the builder and the welder kind of look the same to me. I don't know why. Alright, any other any other breaches? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so let's go right here. And uh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Take that off. There we go. Alright, batteries. Let's make a couple batteries. How about we make three ba- Oh, maybe we'll just make one battery. Um, that's okay. Uh, we need silicon. Silicon. There we go. Two quarts per silicon. Man, quartz is hard to get. Like, not hard to get, but you really need a lot of it. We will also make some... Bleach. We're gonna need coral chunks for that. I totally forgot about needing the coral chunks. I don't think we have any. Crap. It's a problem. See, there's not much at depth. There's no coral chunks down there that I'm aware of. So, that's kind of a problem for me. It's okay. Uh, we'll take a couple peeper fish and a couple salt. Uh, we'll put some of these mushrooms away for, you know, emergencies. And what we'll do is we'll grab some copper. We're gonna need more copper too. I uh, I actually had a lot of copper at one point. I still need a lot of it. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and cook up the peeper fish because the peeper. F well, actually, what we need is what we really need is um is hydration. But the peeper fish will give us hydration, so it'll be good enough until we can get some coral chunks. All right, let's go ahead and make a power cell and. That's it. Oh, it takes two batteries for a power cell. That's rough. Now, I'm not sure what happens when I put in one power cell. Uh, we should probably just test it. The thing is, I'm worried about putting in one power cell will be a waste. But I think I should do it just to test and see what happens. Might as well. It's not that big of a... Well, I don't like wasting stuff, but it's okay. Um, oh, the battery room's upstairs. Okay. Go ahead and eat one of our peeper fish. And oh, okay, so they're empty. So as the uh, as the batteries get used up, I guess they disappear. Yeah, so we still got three on this side, and one on this side. So each one must be twenty percent, because if there's no five would be twenty percent. If there's six, each one would have to be like fifteen percent, right? Fifteen and fifteen is thirty. Thirty and thirty is sixty. And then another 15 is 75. And then... Now, if, I'm not sure how much they have to be. I'm not good with math. Um, it doesn't matter, though. Let's just go ahead and put some put some of these in. We won't be wasting them. That's all that matters to me. Here we go. Cool. So each one has, a, has its own capacity. So that's nice. That's good. I like that. Okay, so let's uh, take this bad boy and let's move it this way 
about 45 degrees. That's about right. And um, I think this way is where we're going to build our base. See if we can get there. And then I got to go and get some darn uh, coral. <laughs> got to go farm some more coral. Yeah, we just need to keep a lookout. It's like a little cliff face. There it is. That's where I want to build. Alright, that's it. We will park this sucker here. Okay, so what we need to do to build is... Well, alright, I've, I've got a real problem with hydration. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to put building on hold again. And uh, try and get some of this hydration taken care of. It's it's a damn shame. But, uh, oh, you, I didn't empty my inventory, did I? I emptied enough of it. Let's go get some coral. Yeah, it'll be a nice place to build because it's not it's not too far away from our main base either. Or like our original base, I should say. And our the thing about our original base is our original base is where we're gonna get everything. That's what I'm saying. Like when you go down deep, um, there's no point in leaving where you originally started because uh, you know, the games in early alpha, they haven't like put everything everywhere, so um, your main base is where you're going to find all your main stuff. It's where you get your coral, it's where you get the mushrooms, it's where you get your copper, it's where you get your quartz. Um, at least as far as I can tell. Maybe you can get this stuff other places as well, but I seem to get it all uh, at my main first area. Starting area, I guess you could call it. Oh, watch out. I wonder what those are. Are those eyeballs? Ew. Are those things? Yeah, we probably shouldn't be messing around with this. Here we go. There's some coral. We didn't bring our knife, did we? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I went back and got my knife, and now I'm really dehydrating. Um, so we need to make this quick. Get a bunch of this stuff. I mean, I'm not even going to have time to get anything else. I'm just going to get as much of this as I can. That way I don't have to come out here again. Uh, it's definitely the best way. Oh, there we go. It's definitely the... What is that? Why is that glowing? Oh, it's probably glowing because of my... Oh, maybe because of the sun? Or no, because of the lights on my ship. I was going to say, why is that glowing so much? I'll just grab some more stuff. Quartz, always want quartz. Alright, give me a sec. Some more mushrooms. Okay, inventory's full. Let's get out of here. Back to the sub. Man, dehydration. That's what I'm talking about. It's serious business. Can't mess around. You've got to stay hydrated. I think it's gonna be a good spot for my base. I really, I really do. I think it's got enough room for it, but uh, at the same time, it's on the edge of a cliff. I love the fact it's on the edge of a cliff, man. I just want to make windows looking out. Although you probably won't be able to see down, but whatever. It's a good spot for a first base. First base, haha. <laughs> Get it? Baseball? Yeah. Anyway. Open up, damn you! Turn me around! Okay, we're gonna need some salt. Uh, put that in there. And we don't have any salt on us. Put it over here, didn't we? There it is. And let's put some of this away. Take some more salt. Okay. You know, the fact that you can eat the, um, those mushrooms, uh, means that, uh, using the salt for water is actually, is actually much better now. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I used to use salt for food, like cooking with fish, but the fact of the matter is I've watched a lot of people play and what they do is they eat these mushrooms, but the mushrooms give you no hydration. So I'm thinking now I uh, live off the mushrooms and use the salt for water. See? 
Eat those mushrooms. And let's go ahead and make some more water. I still think it's really weird, the fact that I'm putting bleach in my drinking water. It's really hard to find uh, hydration because uh, you really got to find the salt. Um, although there is fish that can give you hydration. Uh, those those water fish or whatever they're called. But they're, they're not all over the place. Uh, they're not really that easy to find, so... I'm out of salt. Jesus. I can't believe I'm out of salt. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Yes, this is what we need. I think I will stream this um, tomorrow and probably go farm up some titanium because we're going to need... Uh, quite a bit of titanium for this. Let me uh, take a look exactly what we're going to need. Uh, for the foundation, we're going to need titanium. Um, for corridors, we're going to need titanium. Um, for T corridors, titanium. For X corridors, titanium. The hatch is going to need glass. We're going to need a power generator. That's titanium. Ladder, titanium. Uh, reinforcement, titanium. Windows, glass. Okay. So we're going to need a lot of titanium. But we are going to need some glass uh, for the hatch. So let's take a look at what we have here. Let's put back a little bit of titanium. Now nah, let's go. Let's go build the um the first part of it. The foundation. No, we can't go out here like this. We're gonna need our We're gonna need our little ship. Just to, if nothing else but for oxygen. And um, I'm also gonna have to farm up some stuff for more batteries. Man, this thing loses loses a lot of power quickly. Um you know what it's you know what it's doing? It's um it loses a lot of power when it when it uh, powers up the seamoth. Okay. All systems online. All right. Foundation. Put it over this way. There we go. Let's pick up all this stuff first. Oh, my inventory's full. Never mind. I ain't picking up nothing. All right, foundation. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. There we go. Mm, we should bring this thing closer. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen Oh, remain. Jesus. Give me my oxygen back, man. <laughs> I think I sit in a Seamoth for a little while. So, yeah, what I'll do is, um... I think, uh, between this and next video... I was gonna make two videos today. I don't think I'm going to now. I'm gonna go farm up a bunch of stuff off camera. Because this game is actually pretty farming intensive. You actually gotta farm quite a bit in this game. Um, which is fine. But I'm gonna do some of it off camera because I didn't think it would be as intensive as it, as it turned out to be. Alright, so we want a... How about an X corridor right in the middle? Or right here? I think that's a pretty good spot for an X corridor. Maybe we should just do regular corridors first. Maybe an L corridor? How do we turn them? There we go. Alright, alright! Man, you're such a killjoy. I'm trying to build stuff here, man. I'm trying to build! You know what I'm saying? L corridor. I had to sneeze. That'll work. And then we'll put another L corridor right over here. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I should make some more, um, some more thingamabobs tanks just so I could stay out here longer. This is crazy. 
I also gotta look into the rebreather. Some people told me that helps you stay down longer. We'll see. Okay, so let's go with the T corridor. And I want this to go up. Oh, it won't go up? No, that doesn't seem right. How do you go up? Um, ladder? Uh, corridor? Hatch? Power generator? Hmm, that's a good question. How do you go up? I thought it would have been a T. A T? Maybe it's an X corridor? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to do some research on how to make the corridors going up. Um, so I'm gonna call this one here. I'm gonna spend some time uh, between this and next video doing some research on how to work with these underground bases. And I'm also going to, uh, I'm also gonna take some time and do some farming off camera. So uh, that's gonna be it for episode seven. I'll see you next time for episode eight. Till then, take it easy.